Hello everyone, Tilted Tripod coming to you from the Jungle Gyms here in Fairfield, Ohio. And you can see back there behind me, there's a sign that says, this Jungle Gyms is growing and expanding. I know I've never given you a tour of the Fairfield location. I gave you a tour of the uh, Eastgate location. I don't know, maybe I'll take a look at it today and uh, kind of give you a little walk through and update everyone on what's going on here at Jungle Gyms in Fairfield during the uh, pandemic. So they have this huge fountain here with all of these animals and different things in it. Of course, it's off for the season. They're just now um, probably about to turn it on and fill it up, but you can see all the animals inside there. It is definitely a zoo out here or in here, probably out here because we're outside. What you're looking at right there, that is where they have their like flower shop and you can buy all kinds of plants and stuff. And through here, you can see this is where they're constructing stuff. I don't know what they're building or what the plans are, but there's all this construction equipment here. I don't know if they're gonna expand the, uh, the plant section or what. So here we are, this is the main entrance into the store. You can see there's those traffic lights there. So right here, what you're looking at, this is the original Jungle Gyms. This was just like a vegetable fruit stand at one point, and then they built the rest of the building around it and expanded and expanded and expanded. And then they built the second location over by Eastgate Mall in Union Township. This is kind of ironic. They have this humongous fitness guy right above all of the energy drinks. That's kind of funny. Jungle Jim himself looking buff. <laughs> That's some really, uh, really good Photoshop. Here's the bargain center that they have at Jungle Gyms and you can see they call it pocket change. And this is where you can get all kinds of great deals. Lots of stuff for around a dollar, a couple of dollars. It's a good size too. And of course, a trip to the jungle wouldn't be complete without crazy and wacky toys. Look at this, they got a marshmallow target and all kinds of other wacky toys. All right, everyone, I just wanted to pop in here. I know I initially said that I had filmed the Eastgate location for Jungle Gyms, the one that's over in Union Township, um, which is still in the Cincinnati area, but I have filmed it However, I've not made a video on it, so I just wanted to clarify that yet. I have all the footage, and I'll have to put it together um, with all the history and everything, and then post it up on The Traveling Man. Not quite as fancy as the Union Township location over near Eastgate, but they still do have the toy balloon, and they have all kinds of great toys. Collectibles, they have those um, Funko Pop characters, all the metal characters. Ooh, Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. You can make a golden snitch. If you're into collecting movie memorabilia or props or any kind of decorations for like a studio, they have some really great ones. Especially look at this. It's Pennywise the Clown. That is insanely awesome. OMG, I kind of really want that. So then once you enter the store, you will come across the first aisle of the American groceries. And you can see this is all the juices and the juices and more juices and more juices. And then we have, look at this. It's the Price Magic Wizard. Those are cool signs. Here you can see this is the American section and they have crazy decorations. You can see there's a picture of the very first market. This was where Jungle Gyms began and a crazy chandelier up there. And a few aisles over from the ridiculous chandelier is this even more ridiculous animatronic Campbell's soup guy. Hopefully I'll get to take a video of it actually talking. It talks, it moves. Normally it swings, but I haven't seen it going today, but it has been talking.
Kids, kids, did you notice the acres and acres of delicious food right here at Jungle Gyms? It all tastes so good with family soup. Ooh, like toasty grilled cheese and tomato soup. The crack is on top. But kids, this is Jungle Gyms. Let's get adventurous. You can use camel soup in all your home cooked recipes. <laughs> oh, they're always blending together in perfect harmony. Yum. Also in the American grocery section is the Amish. Amish food is so good. I absolutely love their cooking. Oh my gosh, you guys, newsflash. Look at napkins. They actually have napkins. A paper product available only at Jungle Gyms for a limited time only. Somebody should answer their phone or not. All right, everyone, I've come to the paper products aisle and would you look at that? This is the first time in at least a month or more that I've actually seen toilet paper on the shelves. And so you know what? I'm actually going to get some because, um, you know what? I have no clue when I'm gonna find this again. And if the pandemic keeps going on and on and on, I'm gonna run out and that's, um, that's not good. I do have a little bit left, but um, Nate does not have any at his apartment and I need some for when I visit over there. So I think I'm gonna go with the big one that's down there. $17 for toilet paper seems a little expensive, but um, you know, you gotta take what you can get. So yes, I'm getting the 48 mega rolls. Well, it's actually equivalent to 48 probably regular rolls, but whatnot. Anyway, so this is my score of essentials here at Jungle Gyms. Here we have the sushi section which is currently closed due to the pandemic. And look at that, what an ingenious decoration for the end of a um, heating, cooling, ventilation pipe. That's awesome. Here's a look at the big cheese, which is their cheese department and deli department, which has all the lunch meats, ham, turkey, all of that amazing stuff. I like that boar's head truck that's up there. That's pretty cool. Here we can see this is the big cheese section. I absolutely love cheese and they have all kinds of cheese. Here we're gonna take a look at some of what they have. They have cheese from all over the world. Look at this. They even have cheese that looks completely moldy, even though it's not Amish cheese, Wisconsin cheese, cheese from Europe. Here's a look at all the different cheeses from all over the world. You got France, Spain, Switzerland, Belgium and Holland, Norway, Denmark, England, Gouda. That's not a country, but you know. Look at this, they even have giant cheese wheels. Those are pretty cool. Really heavy and really expensive. I guess $10 is not too bad, well $11 for a whole wheel of cheese. And the cheese wheels get even bigger. Look at these hiding in the back. Those are massive. This Jungle Gyms even has a Jersey Mike's inside of it. And over here they have a Starbucks coffee, although it is currently closed, obviously due to the pandemic. However, the Jersey Mike's is not closed. This now brings us over into the liquor section. Beer, wine, everything alcoholic. It's actually quite massive. They even have a cigar section over here. Wine tasting, beer tasting, that's all, um, that's all forward up there. 
and they just have aisle after aisle after aisle of alcohol. And in the alcohol section, they even have their own separate checkout lanes, and it is really busy. Like, wow, I've never seen the alcoholic section this busy. So this is the cigar section. You can see they have giant cigars hanging from the ceiling and this really huge party sign lit up in red. I kind of like that. This brings us to the back of the liquor section where they have the uh, fancier alcoholic beverages and the home brewing. And look at there, there's a chandelier and the extra, extra exclusive fancy um, wines are kept back in this room. And they keep them in these aging, aged barrels like this. I know there's a lot of glare on that. Yeah, here's a look at some of the exclusive wines. Look at that. $91 a bottle. Oh, and this one's $100 a bottle. And then you can see inside there, they get even more expensive. $799 a bottle. Holy crap, you guys. That is bonkers. And this is the entry to the uh, imported wines. But you have to be very, very wealthy in order to enter through these doors because what lays behind them is astronomically expensive. Look at everyone, look who decided to show up in the Jungle Gym's alcohol wine section. Look at that, it's Marilyn Monroe and she even has her famous blowing dress. That is awesome. And below her is Marilyn Monroe alcoholic drinks. Here we have the famous Jungle Gym's porta potty restrooms. And I've never noticed this, and I've been to this store a bunch of times, but there are these really old pinball games over here. Those are really neat. Love to play these when they're back in order. This is pretty cool in the beer section. I love neon stuff. Those are some great neon signs along with the uh, bar tap levers that they have there. This store always seems to surprise me with something new every time I come in it. I didn't know they have a cooking school here, but there it is. There is definitely a cooking school inside this Jungle Gyms. So here we're entering the candy section, which uh, also includes the bakery. And I never noticed that above the candy section and the bakery is the cooking school. Huh, again the things that I haven't seen, even though I've been to this store like a bunch of times. But anyways, this is the candy section and it is awesome. And we're gonna walk over here. We can take a look at, look at this. They have a huge Elvis. It's like an Elvis dog maybe, I guess. An animatronic Elvis. I am loving this candy sign. That is amazing. We also have the M&M's characters up there. And then Elvis. And look at this. There is an entire portrait made out of jelly beans. I also love the vintage film camera that's up there. That's pretty spectacular. Here we are taking a look at, this is movie candy, and look at that movie camera that's up there. That is so old and so amazing. All right, so if you're into collecting Pez, this has gotta be the best place to find every single Pez that is currently available. They have tons of stuff from sports to movie characters, to all kinds of different crazy wacko stuff that I've never seen at any other store that sells Pez. And then they even have all these collector sets. And above all of the ones for sale, you can see they even have their own collection of Pez. And that's pretty cool. 
And here's a look at the bakery and the cooking school. You can see right there. Here's where they have all the amazing baked goods. And all of these are made right here at Jungle Gyms. You can see there's some of their pies and cakes. And sprinkles for uh, decorating all of your um, baked goods that you've just bought. They even have apples by Sharon. And these are like caramel apples sprinkled with all kinds of candy. And you can even have them custom ordered. Ooh, there's the Buckeyes. Ooh, I love Buckeyes. All right, here's the bread. And a lot of their bread is also made in-house right here in the store. And let me tell you, I've had that pepperoni bread that they make. It is ridiculous. Um, here you can see this is the some of their more fancy bread. And it looks amazing. All right, everyone. I heard and read um, on the internet that all meat production in the United States was going to come to a halt and there would be no more meat to buy. So this might be the last time that we get to take a look at a somewhat stocked meat department um, if they actually do shut everything down. All right, everyone, I needed to pop back on the screen to uh, tell you something. You know, I've been walking through the store and literally just about everyone that I pass by keeps commenting on my shirt. So I thought I would kind of show it off. I know I can't fit all of it in the screen at once, but here you go. That's what it looks like. Kind of a view you can see and there is a close-up of it if you would like to get your very own of this shirt uh, i believe it's by jogel and you can find it on amazon they have the short sleeve version and they have a long sleeve version and they have it in a bunch of different colors as well as this rainbow that you can see right here all right so here i am in the meat department and look what they have right next to the meat department. That is a hilarious shirt. I love that. And I love eating meat. All right, next to the checkouts, we have the fruits and vegetables, which is the section that we're gonna go into now. And this is a new sign since the last time I was here. That's pretty cool. I love how that looks. That's cool. And then below it, you have some different fruits and vegetables. Uh, they got a big mushroom here underneath it all the mushrooms, which I hate mushrooms are disgusting You know jungle gyms always had a fantastic fruit market and I mean they should because that's what they started out as a fruit stand selling all kinds of fruits and vegetables and They always have had good prices on things too, especially in the uh, fruit and vegetable department And if you don't mind snagging a good deal on something that is um, still edible but might have a defect in it, you can come over here to the uh, scratch and dent section where they have all the reduced price items. Wow, look at this neon sign. That's pretty cool. That's huge and very, very red as we make our way into the international section of Jungle Gyms. They also have this really large boat over here for the seafood section. And that's a pretty cool sign as well. Reminds me of a theater marquee with all the blinking lights on it. And there's Bart Simpson just saying, hey, dude. All right, here is the seafood section and they have sharks above your head. Ooh, scary. And it's actually a pretty big seafood section. Look at all the decorations. These are pretty cool. Is that? Yes, it is. That's Popeye the Sailor Man and I'm blanking on the other guy's name. What is that? I wanted to say Hugo, but that doesn't sound right. All right, yes, we're looking at Popeye and then I just remembered Pluto is the other guy. And boy, if you were standing here, it smells just like you're at the ocean. It is fishy, fishy, fishy. Very stinky. Look at all the fish. Hi, little fish. Wow, look at some of the fish they have whole trout oh wow look at this they have 
octopus, complete octopus in there. That is, that's awesome. Here is the drink section. Kind of mixed in with the uh, international uh, section of Jungle Gyms where they have all the international foods. I guess to one side it's hops and drinks and all that kind of stuff and then on the other side it's really the international market. But um, I guess this is all the Asian stuff. And it's very similar to the, uh, the international section at the other location in, um, you know, over by Eastgate and Union Township. Look at this Japanese style architecture jutting out of the wall like that. Also mixed in with the international food section is all of the cookware and really all the things you would use for eating and cooking. And they also have this thing called the Live Harvest. And I'm not quite sure what that is. I guess it's some kind of a, like a seafood show or cooking show where you can go up there and kind of watch, um, I guess watch chefs do all kinds of things with fish. And here's all the machinery and piping for all of the fish that they have to keep. Wow, this is very aquarium looking. It looks just like we're at an aquarium. And from up here on the platform, you can get a nice bird's eye view of the store and the uh, international foods and all the cookware. And funny enough, I've never come up here and done this before. It's pretty neat. Look at this, we have a whole forest. And I don't know, is that supposed to be Robin Hood? I'm not really sure. I think it's supposed to be Robin Hood. Yes, it is Robin Hood. And I'm not sure what that character is over there. I've never seen him before. And this is, I think this is the Great Britain. Yes, this is the Great Britain section and one of my favorite sections because I absolutely love British things, anything British. And you can see, look, they have the real Cadbury. And this is the stuff that directly comes from the UK, um, not the stuff that's made in the United States. So it is the real deal. So if you want real Cadbury chocolate and not the fake United States version, then you gotta come to Jungle Gyms. And in traditional Doctor Who fashion, if you're a Doctor Who fan, they have Jelly Babies. And this is the only place that I know of that sells them. Yeah, here's the back side of the forest. Look at that. That's cool. That's a huge horse up there. Over here they have all kinds of different sections and it's decorated like European towns from different countries over in Europe. Let's go take a look at some of these. So here you can see they have a little room for Greece. There's Scandinavia. And Spain and they carry all kinds of products from those different countries Mexican food anyone Mexican food I absolutely love Mexican food just about as much as the British section so here it is and it's definitely very festive You can even buy pinatas for $15.99. Okay, and in traditional fashion, they have all of the crazy pops, just like the other jungle gyms, with Michael Jackson blurring in the background, giving me copyright strikes. Shame, shame. I don't know, I think YouTube needs to do something to fix that. And it just goes and goes. All right, here is the frozen food section. And nothing really special here, but I thought I would include it just so that, you know, you guys aren't going like, wait, do they not have normal frozen foods like any other grocery store? And yes, they have 
frozen dairy and all of your um, TV dinners like Stouffer's, Skyline Chili, Gold Star, all of that different um, stuff like any other uh, regular grocery store because you can see here is right over here is the pizza. It's all the pizza. Oh yeah. All right, everyone. Here's a look at everything that I'm getting today here at Jungle Gyms. Um, leave a comment in the comment section down below and put your bet in. How much is this going to cost? My bet is it'll be under $200. And here you can see they have 12 registers on either side, making a total of 24 registers. That's a huge amount of registers. I don't think I've ever been in a grocery store that has that many registers. I mean, places like Meyer and that, but then it's not just a grocery store. Here's another look at the checkouts. This is 14 through uh, 21, 22, 23. Actually, they go way down there past 24. Um, and then they even have a barber shop over here. Actually, I think it's just signage. It's not really a barber shop, but you know, kind of a gag thing. And also before you leave, don't forget to get your Jungle Gyms gear where they have all kinds of vests, t-shirts, and everything Jungle Gyms related. So here it is racking up. You can see we're already at $78. Place your bets down below, 77. I mean, even though we're not really betting, <laughs> but put your guess down below. 81, 83, wow, it's racking up fast. Well, now we're up to uh, 163, it may go over $200 and then I will have lost. I doubt it. Yep, nope, I lost, it went over $200, but pretty close, because we're almost done. All right, so close, last two items. Here we go for the total. Yep, 231. All right, so here's a look at everything that I got. The list is long. It just keeps going and going and going. And then you can see there's the total down at the bottom. So out back behind the Jungle Gyms in Fairfield, they have this huge monorail station. Um, and in traditional fashion, as Adam the Woo would say, there goes the monorail even though it's not going anywhere, and has for some time. Although I have heard rumor that they're going to start up service again, limited to, um, service. It was originally designed to take people from this back parking lot all the way into the store when the store was really crowded and they had like a second level open and everything. But let's take a closer look at the monorail. So here's a closer look at the uh, monorail. And this is the Oscar Station. And I believe if I remember reading right on their website, they're using it now for special events. And you can see there's the train and the track that winds all the way around, way over there to the front of the store. All right, everyone. Well, that was a look at the Jungle Gyms here in Fairfield, Ohio, the original Jungle Gyms. Thank you for joining me here on this episode as we took a look at the Jungle Gyms. Um, <laughs> this thing over here, every time I pass it, um, exiting the store, it is so inappropriate. It just makes my mind go to all kinds of inappropriate things, and I'm pretty sure you can get what I mean. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon to stay up to date on everything here at Tilted Tripod Media. And if you like the content I'm producing and this video more specifically, then give it a big fat, big fat thumbs up. Boy, I can't talk today, you guys. <laughs> It'll let me know that you care.